And welcome back to the Renaissance with turn six of the Battle of Serenola, 21st of April, 1503. It is currently 5.15 p.m. Looking at the overall situation, there's only a couple of the Spanish Light Cavalry left. Uh, we'll see if we can finish them off this turn. Uh, we have the Swiss ready to go in on the lower of the two entrances to the west of the vineyards and of course at the top we have the French ready to go in as well and I think we will start we'll go from the top down so the first would be the French so here's the moment of truth uh, we got crossbow infantry quality D quality C let's move in I guess these guys Look at, uh, we, I suppose we should start out Q for organization, C for command. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we see. So, of course, it costs five movement. And if we look here, we see that we're about to go up two level incline. Let's see how much movement that costs. It only costs three. Is that because of the path? Probably. I uh, still don't see anybody. Let's go to a uh, unit. Let's go to what we can actually see with this unit. So we can only see up to all the lit areas, lit hexes. What we got left? 12 movement. I'd like to turn the line eventually, but I can only go here. And now I have to make the decision. Do I stay in column, keep going, or do I switch to line? I think I'm going to switch to line. I think I'm going to switch to line doesn't slow these guys down too much uh, actually column infantry it's still three we know we're gonna be like we're gonna be wanting to stick to the path if we can which means we'll probably be fighting them from the orchards orchard costs four that's for column five for line infantry and of course it will disorder us this main this first unit is going to go in down the path. So we're going to change formation and we're now in line. So we're going to see if we can quickly get up here. What do we have? Quality C. This is so these two troops are our quality C. The rest are quality the other two are quality D, crossbow. And this final one, I don't know what we're gonna do with these guys. Uh, I don't know. They're not going to be able to do much before they run. So up we go. Uh, we'll move around like this. Still can't see. I could go one more and I could see all the way down. It's very tempting. I think I'm going to do it. Oh, that slope's probably going to block us, right? Son of a... Slopes. Let's look at this here. Yeah. Okay, well, we can't still, we're going to have to get here to actually see all the way down to the end of that, before that corner. All right, these guys are going to come up as well. They're not quite as good. And these guys are going to come up, but I don't, well, I mean, obviously we can't see very far, can we? We can only see to there. I don't know what to do with you guys. Let's bring you up here. How long what do we have for a command range here one two three four so he's here one two three four one two three one two three yeah i'll be able to see all right so up you guys go up you go commander coming in at the end two quality d crossbowmen uh yeah go like that and meanwhile the <laughs> main fighting units, pikemen, are coming up slowly. We're probably getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Uh, up you come. <clears throat> Supply wagons. Actually, I know a good job for you guys. You should be guarding the supply wagons. That's a great job for them. Okay, so now we're on to the Swiss. So this is going to be... Well, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Let's see what we can do here. 
So I just want to check. I'm going to move this block forward. So we only have nine movement. Oh, yeah. I got to select it. Nine movement. Six. So that means they can go forward again. I wonder if six movement's all we need to get in here. Well, we're going to have to get out of the way, aren't we? So let's move here. Let's take a shot. Just nothing, eh? And I suppose now we're going to have to worry about running out of ammo. But these guys are going to move up. And I technically will be able to melee into this skirmisher group. So we'll go up here. Okay. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. They're disordered. Looks like they're these are crossbow infantry. These look like arquebus. Trench minus sixty-five. Trench minus sixty-five. Battus forty-five. Uh, I have a feeling I'm just gonna shoot. And nothing's gonna happen, right? I guess there's nothing stopping my block units from moving straight in there too. Can we make it in there to attack? Let's find out. Up we come. In we go. Movement allowance succeeded. Okay, so the blocks are not going to be able to move up there. I wonder what they need. Probably their complete movement to get up there. Well, we're going to move the skirmisher up. We're going to move the parent unit, which is basically just a skirmisher and all but icon. Oh. Okay. We'll take a shot at, uh, well, we should probably take a shot at these guys. I don't think we're going to do much, though. Uh, let's go against the ones that are not disordered. No, I didn't take any. I didn't take any. Oh, nice. Of course, they have the advantage right now because they haven't moved. And we're disordered. These guys are disordered. Is anyone to be a virus? Well, these guys did too. Oh, must be from the uh, hedges. Let's turn the units off for a second. No, no. Why is this unit disordered? This one is not. Why? Things like that bug me. Why don't I know the answer? That's what bugs me. Why are these guys not disordered? Doing the exact same thing these guys did. Why? All right, uh, so we cannot move up. So these guys are going to move up here, and movement allowance succeeded. <clears throat> uh, we don't have any worries anymore about enemy cavalry, so we don't need to be with the supply wagon so much. But for now, we'll still stay with it. We'll still stay with it. Up we go. All right, we're ready to rock. We're ready to. And we are going to melee here. Hopefully that gets our block uh, pikemen up into this orchard. Unfortunately, it will disorder us, but there's no way around that. We are going to have to do this disorder. But if there's anybody that can do it, it's the Swiss. Look at the quality A troops. Quality A, quality A, quality A. And we're going to need that quality A because they're going to have to rally quite a bit. Of course, in the orchards, I don't think they can they come back from being disordered I don't know the answer to that can they come back from being disordered until they move again kind of makes sense that they might be able to but I'm not sure our poor guns I don't know if this was a good idea or not because it's so hard to tell where I have to go to shoot but up we come uh, we should be able to move into position next time to unlimber uh oh oh we don't want that there we go um let's see here so disorder disordered <laughs> we got troops way down here so that means these guys are detached they cannot initiate a melee and we need to deal with these cavalry because of our now these guys aren't fixed anymore either yeah, we don't want the cavalry running around where they can grab the objective axes. Detached. Everybody's detached. 
routed. And let's move you up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So everybody down here is detached. The more is why you say because the more is commander. Well, he's not the direct commander of these troops. Uh, this Ambercourt is the direct commander. So Ambercourt. Amercourt as well. Amercourt, you're going to have to come down, I guess. You basically only have this 60-some cavalry, but yeah, but these are only 20-some men. Let's see if I can get rid of them this way. Uh, this guy. Uh, I could come down close enough to get them in the command race so they can come unattached, so that's not till next time. All right, so let's click them. They're facing that way. Let's move down. Let's take a shot. The unit is not capable of firing. Okay, fine. One check in. Take a shot. Two men. Well, you know what? You need better than that. You need better than that. Detached, detached. Everybody's disordered. Okay, fine. Fine. Who's this? All right, head down here. I need to get him in the command radius. Jeez Louise. Let's come down this way. Movement allowance succeeded. Son of a bitch. Ah. All right, so I'm just take him off. Take him off. Keep going. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to be able to get to him. Oh my. I should have gone this way. Unbelievable. Alright, well that's as far as you're going since you can't make it. Uh... Oh man. Alright, you need to... Oh no, that's not. I, I took the wrong commander down. Wow. 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 Just leaving them all behind. I still can't quite make it. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> wow. That's great. Organization is uh all right well come on up start heading back to your leaders holy uh 100 200 300 oh attack key all right maximum counter right right we have a maximum counters of five oh well, it's not the easiest thing to uh, get reorganized. Uh, but these guys, your leader's way down here. You're all detached. Fine. Fine. Your leader's down here as well. Fine. Right. We're all moving back to the leader. We're gonna reorganize. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna regroup. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah. So these guys are gonna move this way. Now these guys, if they come up, she'll probably move threat fail fifty percent. We'll stay there, thank you. If she does disorder, we know our chances of getting the, her, them back is almost nil. Well, one, in a, one out of six. Uh, this guy, will move, well, she'll move up onto our objective hex just in case. Okay, here. 
click on this unit and we go to unit and we go to view. We can't see anybody. Can't see anybody. Well, we can't really just, I mean, I could use a cavalry, I guess. Who must cavalry see? Or if I go here, see that? If I go here, ooh, we can see them if we move one up. So there's uh, another use for uh, like cavalry. So we're going to move this gun one up. And we're going to unlimber. And we're going to hammer these guys if they stay there. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's keep using our cavalry. Where's our leader? Where's our leader? Way down here. Okay. We want to follow him down. Oh, we've already moved him. Yeah, I guess all the cavalry's been moved. Hey, eh? well, not these guys. So, is there a spot where we can see that gun? No. 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 Yes. Yes, we can see it from there. Okay. I want to get a cauldron in this hex. I want to get a cauldron in this hex. What do we got here? Demi cauldron. What's this? Demi cauldron. Son of a gun. What's the range? One, two, three, four, five, six. Demi cauldron. Demi cauldron. Demi cauldron. Range of six to three. Well, I guess we're there. We might as well go there and set up. Let's go. And I believe artillery and cavalry can go in the same hex together, or they better be able to. They can. Okay. And next turn we'll set them up. Uh, any other these guys? Okay, so let's take a look. Can we see that? from this top hex. No, we can't, but we can see other things. We can see other things. I think this is a pretty good spot to set up. So let's do it. Uh, not this turn, though. Not this turn. Actually, you can see the same thing from here. The idea was to be in the fields to give us protected 10% uh, protection uh, from the fields, but, well, I guess it's the same thing. All right, these guys are moving up. Nope, this guy's moving up. And I believe this is our, nope, this must be our cauldron. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, back to QC. Uh, oh, yeah, this one wants to come up. All right, well, their guns are almost in place. This one is ready to start shooting next turn. Then should next turn, next two turns, we should be able to get them set up. Is that soon enough? I don't know. We'll, we'll have them set up before 6 o'clock. Well, you know, not really that, not really that great. That was awful. But I guess you got to pay attention to... Uh, how far away your units get from your commanders. It, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's not like they have any pressing problems. We only have the two cavalry left. I would like to deal with this more than I did. All right, but we do have the uh, Vivendettes, Vivendaries, protecting our supply wagons. And I don't think 20 some disordered light cavalry are going to be able to do much. So I'm not too worried about it. Do we have any pieces we haven't moved? Yes. We don't want to move you because we're afraid you will disorder. That's it. All right, I'm hitting next turn. It's time to melee. It's time for the Swiss to do what the Swiss can do. Let's see what they can do here. So we're going to start off with the big one. We want to see this block. So what do we have here? It's a Battis, Elevation, Orchard, all kinds of penalties to our attack, but it's only a skirmisher unit and 47 men. So, we can't do this. Well, we're in serious problems. So here we go. Yes, advantage attacker. They're going to shoot at us. Kill five of us. Five men. <sighs> All right. Let's see what we do to them. Really? I suppose, though. As soon as those Archibus take losses they would melt back into the orchard wouldn't they um are we going to do a melee here 
So we have that two melee. I don't think it, I don't really want to do that. I might no, I don't want to do that. This now this guy's not disordered. Look, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm not attacking. I can't attack. So that's it. That was our big big melee turn. <laughs> Okay, and that's, uh, we'll go to report, we'll look at the victory. We're 60 points away from major victory. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, I'm not really that happy with that turn, but, I mean, with the way I'd had things done from before, I guess I have to pay more attention to how far away the uh, subordinate troops get from their direct commanders. So, with cavalry, that's probably pretty easy to do. You get way, too, not so much with infantry, but with cavalry, you can really get too far away from your direct commanders. So that is it. We're going to hit the uh, end turn. Next turn, see what the Spanish do. Uh, yeah, I'm really worried about this cavalry. But in a way, I'm not, because it's only 20 some of them. Let's see what they do. They just disappeared. Where'd they go? Okay, back a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Taking a shot at us. Twelve men, come on. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the pike. Okay. okay. Two men. Okay, they're definitely doing some dents. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Look at that. Mm. Really pushing us back. Not bad, AI. Not bad. Not bad. Five units undisordered out of 19 units checked. Jeez. Still not. Of course, a lot of them aren't in. <laughs> they're Direct commander's command radius, so that's probably why. Zero unit rally, that's the uh, Vivian Dairies. That, uh, and zero units routed at a one unit's checked. I wonder who that was. And these guys are disordered because they're in that damn orchard. Nothing we can do about that. Okay, well, we're, the Swiss are in the thick of things. We're going to push forward towards that artillery. Our other two. Uh, Units of pikemen are going to come up onto the hill, the vineyard, and meanwhile the French will sneak back, will sneak down behind. Hopefully we can, of course we can't see much. Uh, and our cavalry, okay, there they are, they routed, perfect, perfect. And our cavalry will continue its uh, chaotic attempt to reorganize itself and. Uh, of course, we need to guard those guns right now. Of course, not much to guard them from. We only have uh, disordered 80-some enemy cavalry present in our that we can see. And that will be in the next turn, which will be turn 8, uh, which will be tomorrow. Until next time, guys, take care and have a great night.